what is going on guys this is Jix here Magna Crypto and welcome back to another video so in today's video I want to have a look at the market overall that's a Sunday so we should be closing at the end of today so we're going to see just how the markets it's square enough for the end of the week uh, I'm going to be looking at the total market cap um, the big boys Bitcoin Ethereum and XRP and just seeing what's going on there so let's get straight into it um, firstly, if you haven't already done so, please like and subscribe, uh, follow me on Instagram and on Twitter. So on my Twitter account, I tweeted uh, about a week ago about Bitcoin and then later on I'll talk about XRP. But in regards to Bitcoin, I said that there could potentially be, it could potentially be in a bullish flag formation. So this is a bullish flag where you've got a flagpole, you've got somewhat of a descending rectangle and then you've got the kind of flagpole copy and pasting uh, which will estimate where it could possibly possibly break out to so if you look at Bitcoin it's, it's, it looks sort of like that we've got the the flagpole you've got somewhat of a descending rectangle and then potentially it could be breaking out so now that if we, if we go to what Bitcoin is looking like today you can see that it's in somewhat of, especially on the weekly, you can see that it's in somewhat of a kind of descending rectangle formation. Um, if we just get the line tool, draw the line or the flagpole, you can copy and paste that. And yeah, this could potentially be where it goes up to. So just past the 10,100 level, which is also where the wick has reached previously and it's just shy of, of a, a previous high that we reached uh, late February before COVID-19 hit so you know it looks like there's a, there's potential for that so if we go to the daily and just kind of perfect that a little bit like so and like so so it doesn't have to remember it doesn't have to be perfect you know there might be some little breakouts from the bottom or top it's never a perfect chart pattern but I tweeted that on the 25th of May so since then it's risen and basically retested the top of that trend line so it could be that will be breaking out um, and then it could be hitting the resistance level over here at some point which would be around the top of that flagpole or the the, the extending line. Um, so it's a possibility. So we're gonna have to see how we close today. Uh, we have also closed above uh, a key zone or resistance level. So you've got the resistance level over here and over here, and it's just closed above this zone. So a very positive sign, which could mean and uh, we might have enough juice to kind of retest that 10k level and then break past. And go to the next which would fulfill this chart pattern so very interesting to see what happens there um, yeah let's see how we close for this week so not too long left and now if we move to XRP so that's Bitcoin done I also tweeted on the same day about XRP so at this time we just closed below a very key support level around uh, 19 cents and potentially if we continued below that we would have potentially gone to about 17 cents and 16 cents um, but it seems that this has held up strong um, and now we've almost retested so now looking at the XRP chart we bounced off this key support level on the weekly and now it could be possible that we'll be retesting this strong counter trend line and the next line of resistance the next weekly resistance level at around 21 21.7 cents um, so very very interesting it does look it is a, a level of resistance I don't know how strong it's going to be whether it's going to be able to keep XRP at bay it will probably depend on how the market is doing overall. If the market continues to push higher, then I think we could easily break past that point and potentially be looking at the next monthly resistance level. But 
there's quite a few stops in the middle before that point. I think this is very exciting um, and the fact that we've bounced off this key level of support could really be a positive sign um, because obviously you know no cryptocurrency can keep rising exponentially it needs to retrace it's it's always healthy to retrace to gain some more juice and then to continue onwards to break past that key key um, counter trend line this very long term counter trend line so let's see how we do for the end of this week if we can close at this region that would be fantastic um, so let's let's see how we close now moving on to ethereum i made a few videos about two videos about ethereum in the last couple of days um, we spotted a ethereum in a ascending triangle as we as we saw before and it broke out of that absolutely perfectly like look at this perfect formation you know the the resistance level the ascending uh, trend line and now we broke past that very strongly we also had enough juice to break past the um, the long-term counter trend line which was fantastic so if we could retrace and just retrace and bounce off the support level I think that'd be fantastic that'd be really important to kind of sustain this momentum so on the weekly um, again if we are able to close here just above this counter trend line for the week anywhere above this would be fantastic um, we have some support you know along this region right around 230 so it might be the case that you know we retrace slowly back to that level and then bounce off to to continue higher towards the 270 275 level so that could be the next point for ethereum um, I, I think there could definitely be a chance of that retracement happening a little retracement back to 230 uh, give or take um, but this was really important to break out strongly with good volume so it's going to be interesting to see how we close uh, fingers crossed that it closes above this counter trend line and, and this resistance level um, that is probably the most important thing to look out for but let's see how, how we close and then continue on next week so now let's have a look at the total market cap and to see how the market is doing overall so obviously the fact that Bitcoin and Ethereum have been doing very well shows in the charts um, it seems been, we've been bouncing very strongly in between these levels you can see that this 270 billion dollar level has been a very strong level of resistance so if we can break past this, which we almost have, so you can see here, if you look along this trend, this um, line of resistance, you can see here somewhat of a crucial level where we close at this point, rose all the way up here, massive wick, then we close back around this 268, 270 level, um, again, opened at that level, close just below it and you've got all these wicks kind of piercing through but not closing above uh, with a candle closure so this area seems to be um, important so if we can close um, with this candle for this week I think there'll be a good chance that we might be heading higher so let's see how the market let's see how we close for this week um, it's been very good I think you can see here on the daily that with the total market cap it's in a bit of a ascending triangle like Ethereum was previously so there's a lot of kind of energy building up in these levels and now we've just closed above this last week uh, and now we seem to be re retesting that resistance level so if we can just retest and then kind of shoot off then we've got we've got a good 10% or maybe 15% we can we can shoot up closer to the 300 billion dollar level um, you know that's a potential upside that we have to kind of move around to um, so all this energy building up could be a really good sign that we might be heading upwards and just the momentum if you just look at the momentum that we've had in the last uh, couple months it's really building up strongly 
to carry on going upwards. Now, obviously, in this market, it's never a, a, a straight line up. It's always up and down, up and down, fake outs, you know, um, strong retracements. That's just how the market goes. It's always the Wild West. But um, I just it just looks like the momentum is really heading upwards, you know, for the rest of the year. And let's just see, let's just see how we finish for this week and then um, start off for next week. So let's just keep our eyes open, um, pay attention and be patient. So that'll be all for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.